Hey everybody, it's Troy. Three times in the last four days, I've gotten the question from a customer how to best work with projects that have an audio file and a video file that were recorded separately. And just like in this project, they are not the same length. And sometimes when it's really long, it gets kind of hairy. So I'm going to show you my best practices for working with it. For simplicity's sake, I've kept it pretty short. But the principles, I think, are totally workable when uh, you have longer projects. Uh, first thing that I do is I take both of them and I uh, line them up. It's fine. Holding down the shift key, here's my first tip. Hold down the shift key, click inside the cursor, and move everything down. Move it down like 10, 15 seconds. Whole project. Whoom down there. You're going to want space before and after you work on your project. Uh, I let the audio drive my edits. So the f I suggest, well, actually, let me do this with you. Okay, so you've, you've got this. And uh, my suggestion is take like uh, 30 seconds of content at a time. And uh, you can just Hit uh, Command T or S for uh, on on Windows. Command T on Mac, and uh, just move that down for now. So you've got a little chunk of content. Uh, you can often often look at the audio to see where simple breaks are. Okay, so we've got our little bit of content here. As I mentioned, I'm going to work with the audio first. So I'll move my video down, and let's just listen as I describe that uh, there happen to be three different calculators that you can use, a basic, uh, a scientific, and a programmer calculator. But you're going to hear me say that here in a second. On the Mac, the calculator has three different modes. It's got a, a basic one that most people use. Okay, so that's the first split, and I'm simply going to put a split on that. If you haven't used a split before, you can use that, but I highly recommend learning the hotkeys. If you don't know what the hotkeys are, I would go and put some that, especially if you've got a big project, uh, whoops, not themes, we're going to go to uh, preferences and uh, shortcuts and timeline editing and, uh, and especially navigation. So editing and navigation are going to be your friends uh, to learn how to split uh, the selected media as well as split all. And then timeline navigation, this is a really big one for me. Uh, jumping to the previous clip and the next clip, uh, I would learn how to use those because now I can just jump uh, to the beginning and to the end with a couple of hotkeys. Okay, like I said, we got our audio. Uh, that's good. Now we just need to get the video to match. So I am going to bring a chunk of the video down. And once again, we said something like, like the calculator has three different modes. It's got a, a basic one. Okay, basic, right? Uh, well, with this video, it's already showing the basic calculator. And... Uh, I want to stop the video before it moves on to the next part of the calculator. I'm just moving up oh, and right there is where it uh, begins to move. So like to me, that's a scene change. Uh, this is where the calculator begins to change. So I'm just going to take that part of the video, move it down to the side. Again, you can see why I try to put space on the beginning and the end, give myself plenty of working room. Don't worry, we'll, we'll clean it up in a second. So I've got an audio that starts here in a video. On the Mac, the calculator has three different modes. It's got a, a base, and clearly it's not long enough. So ladies and gentlemen, first, uh, uh, second, I guess, hotkey that I need to teach you a keyboard shortcut is you hold down the Alt key. And when you hold down the Alt key, it turns that little two-way arrow into uh, an extend frame option. Here we go. Calculator has three different modes. It's got a, a basic one that most people use. Cool. All right, let's find the second bit of audio. It's got a scientific calculator. And okay, so this is our next block. Once again, just split it. I can just shove that down to the left, move the video over, and we're going to look for that part where we show the scientific calculator. And there's the scientific calculator. Now we're looking for the scene change of where it goes from scientific over to the next one. Yep, and here's the mouse that's moving up to the next one. So here's split. Okay, again, move that stuff down to the side. And once again, uh, we've got uh, stuff that doesn't match up. 
I let the audio drive it. If I can, if I need to, I can actually do a little bit of that, right? That, that could actually work. But clearly this is too long. I'm gonna right click and I'm going to add uh, clip speed. This allows me to uh, shrink this down a little bit. It's got a scientific calculator, okay? And right, you can fine tune it. Uh, if you want to, and I, I can make it adjust, or I can have everything almost match the audio perfectly with all the natural uh, cadence that I did the original recording with and it's make it look like this. a scientific calculator. Although, frankly, that's a little bit too, it's just not there long enough. So I'm going to go back here to this original, and I'm going to bring that one back. And uh, I'm going to move that video down. Cause, and see how this looks when I slow that video down. A basic one that most people use. It's got a scientific calculator. Cool. That's actually not bad when when it f uh, shows scientific ex and highlights scientific exactly when I say a scientific. Scientific. Something uh, that can be a nice touch, uh, maybe a little bit more work than what it's worth. Now we're bringing in the third bit of audio over here and then a programmer calculator, which is ridiculous. Okay, and a programmer calculator. My offense to anybody who wrote the programmer calculator, I don't know what it does or how it's helpful, but I can tell you that my video is too slow. So uh, I'm going to uh, split this, and I'm gonna do two things. I'm going to clip speed this part here and bring that so that part is faster and then let's see how it plays out here and then a programmer calculator which is ridiculously complicated i have no idea what it actually does. and uh, i think on here i'll just hold down the op uh, excuse me the alt uh, or option key and drag that out so we've got an extended frame and uh, while i'm at it i'm going to cut off the beginning here and ladies and gentlemen we got our first chunk which is quite nice uh, the other thing I'm going to recommend is that you make a selection and then you group it, Command G or Windows G. And now you've got the accomplishment of saying, look, I've got my fifth, first 15 seconds. I'm all good. That's one chunk. I don't need to do anything more. Great. Uh, let's work with this next section down here, whatever that section might be. And you can rinse and repeat. The other thing that you may choose to do is let's say that you've uh, done this amount of, of work in the video and maybe you want to add on an annotation like uh, let's say we're going to uh, put a hot key or excuse me not a hot key we're going to put a uh, annotation around it. I'll change up the color a little bit give it something like that okay uh, and and then you know you can make it as long or as short as you want but for me the reason I showed this is because if you want to keep everything clean keep grouping it one more time command G and now that's the group and if I want to get extra careful I can go and rename this but uh, I like just keeping that tight timeline it shows me that this is done and anything that's messy is what I, I get to work on next but you do this a little bit of time and I think you can work out these projects a little bit faster good luck thanks for watching